R ask Reddit by Reddit Universe. What was the best you have no power here moment you have ever seen? Make sure to like and subscribe. I used to work for a super CNTY manager when I worked at McDonald's. This guy was horrible to us. He was constantly bullying us, shit talking us to customers, and doing everything in his power to make us miserable. Well, so many people complained about him that he ended up getting fired. New manager was great. He was super chill and understanding with us all. A couple weeks after he took over, the old douchebag comes in and starts talking about how terrible the store looks, how our service is shittier than ever, and how much this store needs him. The new manager looked at him and said if you don't leave, then the cops are gonna make you when the douchebag didn't move. New awesome manager stuck to his guns and called the cops. The douchebag is no longer allowed on any McDonald's property in the city and has a restraining order against him. The first time I had dinner at my parents house after I got my own apartment, my dad was giving me grief as usual. Finally, I stood up and said, I don't live here anymore, I don't have to put up with you this way any longer, I'm going home, and walked out, most liberating moment of my life. This is a bit silly, but gave me a great feeling of satisfaction, due to the bad economy and poor money management. My parents have moved into the spare room of the house my husband and I bought a year ago. Things are mostly smooth, though I'm not the closest to them for several reasons I won't go into here. The other evening I was out gardening, because it's hot during the day and we have the luck of having a streetlight right next to our front yard, keeping it pretty well illuminated even after sundown. I mostly garden at night, and I thought I had gotten the hose twisted, as it kept getting stuck. This went on for a bit. When I realized that it wasn't stuck, but being pulled, I looked into the dim area just past the illumination of the streetlight and spied my father, crouched over and tugging the hose. Well I did the only reasonable thing to do, and I sprayed him. He yelled and ran inside with me chasing. Once he got inside he made a face and goes you can't get me now. I'm inside in that father to daughter don't you make a mess tone of voice. I readied my hose, looked him in the eye and said, it's my house and just fucking let loose with the hose. He was soaked. Worth cleaning up the mess for that moment of true fear in his eyes. I was waiting for a friend to finish work. She worked at a restaurant so fancy they had someone vetting guests at a podium outside. The place was glitzy and the folks were glam so the great and good would descend in droves. Those with a reservation were sent in. Prospective walk-ins had to queue. A car sweeps up. The driver jumps out and holds the door open to unleash a hat and dress. The woman accompanying said finery, a C-list actress from a regional daytime TV show, looked through everyone present and moved to enter. She froze, appalled, when the guest vetter intercepted, asking do you have a reservation? She mustn't have heard the question because she didn't respond. Instead she drew herself up to the full height of her couture and demanded do you know who I am? Yes said the maitre d' back of the queue. The guy that I'd gone on a few dates with introduced me to his parents. Things went well, or so I thought he drives me home. We end up talking and drinking a few beers. I didn't want him on the road with any alcohol in his system, and I enjoyed his company, so we end up hanging out until 3am. His mom starts blowing up his phone, demanding that he comes home, so he drives himself home to find that he's been locked out of his house. His mom said that he can sleep outside. He shouldn't be spending time with someone like me. Still don't know what she meant by that. And that I'm just another stop on the pussy train. He tells her not to talk about me like that. To which she says when you're under my roof. I'll say whatever I want about whoever I want so he picks up his phone. Calls me. Asks if he can stay at my place for a little while. It's been 7 years. We are engaged. Have a dog. A cat and a happy life I also plan on throwing some subtle train themes into the wedding celebration after the end of the plague. I told my ex I was getting remarried. He told me he was going to stop me and put a line on my house, which I bought with my money six years after the divorce. My son would come home from visitations telling me how his dad was going to stop the wedding and I'd have to pay him all of this money. Ladida, get to court. His attorney goes blah 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 for what felt like forever. My lawyer yes, I had to freaking get one, stands up and simply hands the judge the divorce papers showing the disbursement of funds and how my ex isn't owed anything. Judge looks at ex's lawyer and basically asks, 
Did you even ask for this document before filing and dismisses the case? I'm a high school teacher who teaches a lot of senior grades and so has to deal with graduation grades, references for university, all that jazz. I had a parent of a graduating kid in my classroom in June, after final marks were given to students but not formally reported, who was a dental surgeon in town, ran a large operation, donated a lot to local sports, big man in a small town. I had given his kid a mark in the high B range, and so he marched into my office and started off with the there must be some mistake line, which moved swiftly into the you're going to change it because I tell you two to how much will it cost to get him the A. When I refused the bribe he went to you're fired exclamation point one one. Not him going to get you fired but you're fired. Clean out your desk. I just asked him to leave. Ended badly. He threatened violence. I reported him to the school admin. He's now banned from the property. I worked in management at a theater for a while. If the concession counter was slammed and I was able, I'd leave my post and help them sling popcorn. One night while helping out, a particularly belligerent man started cussing out a 16-year-old girl on a cash register for being too slow, even suggesting she quit since she clearly couldn't handle pushing buttons or scooping popcorn. It was pretty disgusting and I felt so bad for the girl. I stepped in and told the guy that our employees have the right to refuse service to customers who harass them as part of our anti-harassment discrimination policy, empathized that the lines were longer than usual, and suggested he should apologize and move on. He was pissed, left half his order on the counter and started fuming off, anticipating his next move. I went back to my original post that night, as manager of the customer service kiosk. Oh boy, the look on his face when he saw me. Didn't want a refund of his tickets though so I assume he watched the movie, without popcorn. Some secretary of some branch of a state agency would go on a power trip and stamp, do not copy on things that she sent to local agencies. Well, I work for an oversight agency and I needed a copy. Locals were terrified so I rolled my eyes and called to explain that the locals and I were basically the same entity. Woman started to have a conniption fit. But she got real quiet when I cut her off and said, fine, I'll issue a subpoena, what's your name and job title? She answered, and the sheriff served her a subpoena for what I wanted, guess she wasn't used to that. <laughs> IT services for a client of mine, they paid for me to come to their office and address a problem 8 hours minimum time, the issue was resolved in about 45 minutes. They'd set up something incorrectly and it was pretty obvious once I got into the system. I was packing up to leave and the client stopped me. What are you doing the system is fixed so I'm headed out back to my office. No, I paid for 8 hours. You'll do your 8 hours. If I tell you to wash my car for 8 hours that's what you'll be doing. Right. So anyway, I'm leaving. I'll notify the office to send you the invoice and in all likelihood we'll no longer be working with you and withdrawing your lease on our equipment. I started working for a welding company as an engineering manager. We were selling an extremely complex weldment, pressure tank that goes under the shitter, for 4.9k, out costs were 9.3k. The owner took the bid to get in with this big company. The owner legit said well make it up in volume. We weren't. When an unhappy client threatens to go hire a better lawyer, they don't seem to get that this isn't a threat when they aren't paying me. I joined the Army Reserve in 1983, in between my junior and senior year in high school, going to drill one weekend and we were doing war games with another reserve unit. They mailed everyone a letter with the challenge and response to be let into the unit. As a lowly private, I was standing guard at the entrance and had to say the challenge. Everything's going good until a city police car pulls up and the cop is a new lieutenant. I give the challenge and he just look at me. I say it again and he said to just let him in because he didn't know it. He starts getting belligerent and I ask him to turn off the car and step out. He gets out and starts yelling at me. The sergeant major heard the commotion and comes over and tears the young lieutenant in you asshole. It was very satisfying to watch and I learned that day that even though a second lieutenant outranks a sergeant major, it really doesn't matter because the sergeant major had been in for 20 years and didn't put up with any bullshit. A few years ago a guy stopped me in the hardware store and asked if I was a painter. I looked down at my painter's whites and said, yeah I do historical restoration work. He asked how much I charge per hour, 
and when I told him, he immediately told me I was too expensive and dropped my rate by 25%. I had already given him my number, but he kept belittling me, and saying I wasn't worth it. I just told him that I already had a full time job, and this would be in my off hours, so it needed to be worth my while. He finally let me leave the store, then called me 3 or 4 times, each time hemming and hawing over if he wanted to actually use me or not. He's got a bunch of properties, it would be a sweet gig, but not at those prices. And I just kept telling him that's fine, don't use me if you don't want it. Eventually I recognized his number and stopped picking up. He really thought he had some sort of power over me, and I'd jump at the opportunity. Luckily I didn't have to take the work. I was making good enough money as it was. He would have nitpicked absolutely everything, and probably not paid me at the end anyway. But he was so certain he'd have power in the situation, that he didn't seem able to comprehend me not wanting to barter with him. When I was working customer service for a restaurant delivery service, not unlike DoorDash, I had a customer send in a complaint about hair in their food. The hair was sitting on top of the food. I checked their account, and they had one order on their account, which is a red flag. I check their phone number and find multiple accounts, each other one two orders, all of them complaining about hair in the food. I deny a refund because the customer has actually used the same identical photo for the last order since they ordered the same thing. The customer tries to argue with me, threaten to never use the service again. Typical stuff that they always say. Eventually the customer gives up and ends the call, then immediately tries again. I get the support request, see who it is, then deny the refund again. She ends the call, then tries again. The person behind me gets the call. I tap the person on the shoulder and show them what I pulled up on my screen and that person denies the refund. The next day she calls back and tries again and is outside of the refund window. So the customer demands to speak to her supervisor. The supervisor bans her from the service for multiple fraudulent refund requests. So I was bartending one night and these three guys were absolutely hammered so I cut them off. One of the guys proceeded to try to argue with me saying he has all this money and he tells me when he's done drinking and he's not even drunk. At this point, I'm done trying to be polite and point blank tell him I'm done arguing with him. Will not be serving him and his buddies. And he can leave. He looks at me and says now excuse me, who are you to tell me how much I can and cannot drink? I look him dead in the eye and say the fucking bartender, now it's time for you to go. The look on his face was priceless. Never forget the golden rule, don't piss off your bartender. I worked at a movie theater and some customers were adamant that a staff member had stolen their wallet after they dropped it. Turns out that these people just couldn't see and found the wallet once they actually looked for it. They got irate with literally everyone, from the mall security to the managers to the staff. Mall security finally said get the fuck out and the customers went you can't say that. This isn't your theater, we're customers. Mall security guy promptly said this is my mall, and I can do whatever the fuck I want. I wasn't good at returning library books when I was a kid. I got lectured by my school librarian about it a lot. Fast forward 20 years and I'm a supervisor at the local public library and my former now retired school librarian goes there. One day I see her sneaking around the front desk instead of coming back to say hi to me and I immediately figure something's up. I go up to say hi and she acts exasperated and tells me she was trying to avoid me because she had overdue books. So I put on my reading glasses, pulled them down over my nose and delivered the same lecture she'd given me countless times about being responsible and turning in books on time. New CEO came to our department on the first day of his work. He didn't have a pass card yet and a lower level employee told him that he can't enter without pass card. CEO got upset and ordered a worker to let him in, but the worker insisted, show me the pass card, or you're not entering few days later this worker got a bonus. My wife and I moved to WA state and my mill tried to tell me that she was going to call the police because I had pot in the house. When my shitty father kicked me out of the house and then demanded he have access to my bank to control my financial situation and I got to tell him you have no control over me anymore. You set me free when you kicked me out and now you can't do tea. Some white house lady sat at my bar and tried to get a drink without it. She pulled out her White House ID card which had no dob. I work at the White House. 
I told her that her bosses would be very proud of me enforcing their laws when I didn't serve her a drink. It Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Reddit Universe.